I am in Brooklyn on vacation. I have a few more weeks here. And my fiancé is suggesting we get married before we, I go back home. And I'm wondering if I can do that. And also, if I do go that route, uh, should can I start my filing before I return home? Or do you suggest I go home, then you start the filing? Your fiancé is a citizen or a resident? He's a citizen. And when you say you're here visiting for a few weeks... How many weeks have you been here so far? I only came on Saturday. I'm here for about four more weeks. Okay. I would not suggest getting married within the first 90 days of your entry. It would be a misrepresentation. If you stay 90 days, mm -hmm. and you're willing to stay 90 days and not four weeks, and then get married on day 91, then mm -hmm. your fiancé would file for your adjustment here. I would strongly recommend that because to go home and then have him either file as a fiancé visa or have him go down whatever country you are in, marry you, come back and file for you to get a green card back in your home country is going to be years and years and years and years and years because they're so backed up. And to adjust your status here in New York is less than a year. My wife has a uh, withholding with removal and they have been telling her that the only way she would be able to... Uh, I guess six would be able to uh, leave the country 10 years. So I was uh, thinking of joining the military. How did I she come to the United be... States? Uh, she, uh, uh, illegally. Okay. Does she have any mother or father in the United States? No. All right. Does she have any aunts or uncles in the United States? Uh, no. Okay. And where country is she from? She's from Mexico. And did she ever have any criminal record? Uh, no, no. All right, no. so she just says withholding a removal. So, yes, so the answer is she ha she made some application that she has a fear of returning to her home country. Um, if you join the military, then you can apply for parole in place for her and then make a motion to reopen the removal case and adjust her status. That would be the only way. Correct. Okay. And then, uh, and by the way, you don't have to be active duty. It could be, it could be, um, <clears throat> it could be the uh, reserves. So you just go train okay. once every two, three months. If I got married in October 2018 and I'm still married and I filed for my 10 year uh, green card already, when can I file for the citizenship? Uh, three years from the time you got your conditional green card. If my K-1 petition is approved and currently at the National Visa Center, can I withdraw it and file an I-130 if I am now married? Yes, you have to. I have a 10 year green card. Um, I married. Uh, I got married 2018. Right. So um, I didn't receive the two years. I got 10 years green card straight away. So um, I'm supposed to file for my citizenship next year. But my wife said she's not going to file a um, tax with me. She's going to file separate because I make a lot of money. She says we don't make any money. So she want to file separate. So I just want to ask if that's going to affect my citizenship application. It absolutely will because they're going to say you're no longer in a bona fide marriage if you don't have joint tax returns. Yeah. So then, well, you would wait, so then you would just wait till five years of having a green card. Your choice is this. File a joint yeah. tax return, take the, take the tax consequence, become a citizen in three years, save a couple of dollars, become a citizen in five years. Those are your choices. I've been married um, since 2018, and now we had five for adjustment of status. Mm -hmm. I got my green card in 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, my question is, I want to know what form or forms I have to fill. I have to now reapply because my green card will be expired. You have the two-year green card? Yes, they give me a two-year, yes. Okay, when is it up? It's going to be up uh, this year end. And you and your husband are still together? Everything's good? Yeah, everything's pretty okay. good. No so, complaints. All right, so you're going you're gonna to go on the USCIS website. You're going to download a form called the I-751. And you're going to fill it out and you're going to submit it with all the documents that you have, copies, not originals, of, uh, of the fact that you and your husband live together and have a joint financial relationship. So it's just one form. I don't have one to fill form. out the whole set. No, like I, no, no. I just one form. Time. Submit your documents to show you're still in a bona fide marriage. And you have to do it 90 days before the expiration of your green card. What is the I-751 about, really? It's is it a app, renewal or something? It's, no, it's the app. Right now, you have a green card that's conditional, meaning that okay. it's it's conditional on proving that at the end of the two years of you having a green card that you're in a bona fide marriage with 
your spouse. So now to remove these conditions, which is um, we're only giving you a two-year green card unless you prove to us in two years you're, you're in a bona fide marriage. You got to file an application yeah. and prove you're still in a bona fide marriage. And then you could remove these conditions of only having a green card for two years. And then they give you a green card for life. How long will it take if I marry my husband living here in the United States and he uh, also wants to add his two boys who are living in the States? I'm an American citizen. 12 to 18 months these days. Hi, Brad. I, I have a question. I need to ask how a marriage annulment can affect my immigration case with a new spouse. Well, if you got a green card through that marriage and it was annulled, then that means the marriage was void. You got a problem. If you got married, you got an annulment, and now you're married to a second woman, who cares? Just you file the papers. I was granted adjustment of status based on a marriage case one month ago. Until now, I didn't get my green card. I called USCIS for an info pass. They gave me a service number without an appointment. What's next? Go down to immigration and say, where's my green card? I have this friend. He's not for you a citizen. He's in Jamaica now, but he, while visiting here, he got married up here to that U.S. citizen within two weeks and uh, went back down. She's not filing for, me, for him. Would that be a problem if he got married here when he came up to visit? If she doesn't file for him, I don't think it's going to be a problem. If she, no, she is filing for him. Oh, then yes, it's a problem. Oh, why? Because you, um, can't, you can't come on a visitor's visa. Home. There's no, the visitor's visa is not a marriage visa. That's why. It doesn't matter whether he went down. Visitor's visa is not a marriage visa. It's not a purpose to be visiting to get married. Because that's, that's what I was telling the, that the I, only I heard way, you the say only, that. The only visa that mm -hmm. allows you to get married is a fiancé visa. That's it. You don't come on a fiancé visa, you're not allowed to get married. Period. Now, what the law says mm -hmm. is that you, if you come into the United States as a visitor, or you come as a student, or you come on a work visa, whatever it may be, you're allowed mm -hmm. to fall in love after you come here and get married. Nobody's saying you can't. You just can't mm -hmm. have the predetermined intention of doing so when you walk into the United States. So what the law says is oh. if you get married within the first 90 days, you had the predetermined intent to get married when you walked into the United States. You can't get married on a visitor's visa. It's not a visitor's visa for marriage. It's a visitor's visa to be a tourist. Okay, so that's the, the fact that he got married within two weeks would suggest intent. Correct. Wow. It would suggest a misrepresentation of what his purpose of coming to the United States was to do. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.